Christ is risen. At the beginning of this series, before Great Lent began, Father Alex took us to a trail and talked about taking a pilgrimage, a pilgrimage to a very sacred and holy place, and following markers along the way to get to the destination. Well, we've reached the destination, and that destination was the celebration of Christ's resurrection. During Great Lent, some of us paid really close attention to the markers along the way. Perhaps we fasted from certain foods or spent less time on devices. Perhaps we went to more church services or were more mindful of poor and needy people and did something for them. We may have gone to confession, and we might have thought a little bit more about what we were thinking about up here and what came out of our mouths and how we treated the people around us. But others of us may have not paid as much attention, especially to those three pillars of Lent, prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. But you know what? The good news is, that Christ is resurrected and he is resurrected for all of us, whether or not we paid a lot of attention or a little bit of attention to the markers. We now have 40 days to celebrate the resurrection of Christ, the light of Christ that came into our hearts as we celebrated the resurrection liturgy. How do we keep that light alive in our hearts during these 40 days? Well, we can begin by greeting people with Christ is risen, truly he is risen, and pay attention to those words, not just saying them because it's the custom, but saying them because we truly believe them. We can also sing the wonderful, wonderful hymn of Christ is risen and sing it every day. You know how some songs just sort of stay with us throughout the day? Well, wouldn't it be wonderful if the hymn of Christ is risen stayed in our minds and our hearts for this entire 40 days? We can share the love and the joy of the resurrection by doing something kind for someone, perhaps taking a baked good that we made for Easter and giving some to somebody who's alone, perhaps a person in our church or a neighbor. Children, perhaps you can remember that kid in your class that doesn't have any friends and play with that kid at recess. Or call your grandmother or grandfather or elderly aunt or cousin every single day for these special 40 days to greet them with the joy of Christ. I would encourage you to consider sitting down as a family and talking about how each of you has experienced the joy of Christ now that we have come to this important destination and how you're going to share the light and the joy of Christ both with one another in your home throughout these 40 days where we continue to celebrate and with the people around you, your loved ones, your neighbors, your friends, and those who are in need. Indeed, Christ is risen.